The NASA SLS rocket is quite a story behind this model. So the first thing is the rocket itself. And it's designed to be the uh, vessel that takes man to Mars. So they're in the process right now of constructing these rockets and the reusable boosters and all sorts of bits and pieces that they're going to be around it. It's pretty much like what the Apollo space program was back in the 60s, but obviously technologically more advanced. So this thing technologically is amazing and really interests me from a technology perspective. About six years ago, I made a Saturn V rocket, which first took man to the moon, and that was Australia's tallest Lego model, six and a bit metres high, or thereabouts. And I said to a colleague that I'm never going to build anything taller than that because the logistics are too hard. It's so hard to put together. It's so hard to build. You need a cherry pick, you need cranes, you need all sorts of crazy stuff. There's no way I'm ever going to build bigger than that. And he just laughed at me because he knew that one day I would. This time with the rocket, of course, what we've done is not only do we have the rocket, which is a very different shape to Apollo 11, it's a three booster rocket, for example, so it has boosters on the outside, we thought we'd really bring it to life. So I've actually got it launching. We've got all these flames and thrust and things happening, just like it's launched off the launch pad. And then we've filled it with LED lights and, light and sound effects. And we've really taken this model to the next level. And it's so big, we actually can't put it together here in the workshop. It doesn't quite fit, it's seven and a half meters high. It weighs uh, just over 400 kilograms and uses a few hundred thousand Lego bricks. It's the new tallest Lego model in the Southern Hemisphere. So we've had quite a few challenges around that and the logistics around that, which has um, made our life very difficult. It's taken 500 hours to build. 